analogy of apartheid in South Africa. I just want to have a question. During the apartheid era in South Africa, how many times did the Zulus shoot Kassan rockets at the Afrikaners in Johannesburg? How many times did the Zulus commit terrorist attacks against innocent Afrikaners? How can you use this analogy of apartheid? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'll repeat the question. Um, I'm using an analogy between what Israel's doing to Palestinians with what uh, apartheid South Africa did to the black um, uh, African population in, in uh, South Africa. Um, so first of all, I am not the only one to make this analogy. Of course, Nelson Mandela has made it to Desmond, to the Archbishop Desmond Tutu has made it. In fact, many of them have even claimed that it's worse. Um, I actually have a quotation here, so I'll um, try to find it while we're talking. Um, but anyway, if you look actually, and I, in my presentation I'll be showing a map so you can see actually the, the continuous ghettoization of the black South African population, the way that the Palestinian population has been ghettoized, the way that indigenous people in this land have also been ghettoized. Black South Africans were not allowed uh, to control their resources, and they were also treated with incredible brutality. In fact, if you were there last night watching Occupation 101, you saw the way that people were hammered down, um, people were uh, attacked with in incredible brutality. So um, are you claiming that the apartheid South African regime was not brutal towards its population? Oh. The, the, ANC, the ANC was a terrorist organization, was considered a terrorist organization by the apartheid South African government as well as the U.S. government. They, they, were, they were doing what was called terrorism, but we now recognize in, in retrospect that they were freedom fighters. They, they did. There were killings on both sides. doesn't mean that, that I, I don't condone any attacks on civilians, but there were killings on both sides simply target civilians the way the Palestinians have been targeting Israeli civilians for the past several years. Israel, Israel also targets civilians, but the vast majority of, of the Palestinian population, and I'll be talking about this in my presentation tonight, is actually using non-violent resistance. And, and that's something we don't necessarily hear about. So I also think that needs to be acknowledged, is the non-violent resistance that Palestinians are doing, just as black South Africans did in apartheid South Africa.